Hey guys, Mark Wolf here, I'm showing off my assignment, my first assignment for the Introduction to Games Programming uh, module on the uh, MSc in Computer Games and Entertainment at Goldsmiths. Uh, I'm going to apologize first um, about the frame rate. Uh, the screen recorder of uh, QuickTime used to be really good on Snow Leopard and for some reason on Mountain Lion it is just absolutely trash. Um, I do have an upgrade to Mavericks which I can use um, so maybe if I upgrade to Mavericks and the uh, the screen recording is a lot better then maybe I'll, I'll redo this video um, but for now uh, you'll just have to deal with the uh, appalling frame rate. I, I do promise that this uh, this demo runs a hell of a lot better when uh, the screen recorder's not going. Um, you might even hear the, the fans spinning up. Um, so this is based on the aptly named Ping example from Andy Thomason, who is our lecturer, uh, also works part-time at Sony. Um, and this is from his Octet framework. Um, specifically, this is the version that was released on the 11th of October, just in case anyone's wondering. Uh, there's newer versions out now, and there's probably newer versions from now uh, by the time you're you're looking at this video. Um, so I'll just briefly explain to you what it is, um, so you don't have to stare at a really bad frame rate for too long. Um, so basically it's, it's sort of Pong. Um, in the ping example which Andy done, uh, it was just the two bats on the left and the right uh, and it was a simple uh, first to ten player wins. Um, so I've edited some stuff uh, from there and um, there are two bats at the top and the bottom um, and when I start playing uh, you'll see what they do uh, when you hit the bat on the top it will spawn a power up which uh, increases the ball speed. If you hit the bat on the bottom it spawns a, a power up which uh, decreases the ball speed. Um, if a power up is already on the field to that corresponding bat, when you hit it again, nothing will happen. Um, the bats actually shrink in size as you hit them. Um, there's a, a simple score mechanism on the top, um, which sort of shows the, the life, I guess, uh, of each individual bat, both the yellow bat and the uh, and the blue bat. Um, so it's controlled with the keyboard. Um, w and S controls the left yellow bat, uh, and then up and down arrows control the right uh, blue bat. So I'll just play a little bit for you. So you see I hit the, the top I hit the top bat and that spawned a, a speed up power up and when you hit it you can see the velocity of the uh, the ball uh, increases. And also the bat shrinks. Uh, this is so that there's not sort of unlimited amount of power ups. Um, and then obviously the power up disappears uh, because we're starting we're starting back again. And um, so it's a simple first to five. And there I've hit the bottom power up uh, and now the speed down power up. I'll hit the bottom bat and the speed down power up has uh, appeared and if I manage to get the ball to hit that power up um, then you'll actually see, oh, and ended up hitting up the speed up one. Uh, so there's the speed down one which just decreases the velocity uh, and you'll see that the health of the yellow player because uh, it's, it's gone past him twice has, has decreased. Um, so that's sort of the basic concept, I'll just uh, I'll show you what happens at game over just by uh, deliberately um, not uh, stopping any of the bats. Um, a couple of things, there is basic collision detection between the bats as you'll see here. Um, obviously the bats can't go off screen which is one of the things they did in Andy's very basic example. Um, and the way that the uh, the way that everything's drawn pretty much is uh, sort of the court itself, the white uh, outline, the bats themselves, um, they're drawn using a, a simple color shader and they're made up of uh, I think two triangles to, to draw the box shape um, and then the power-ups I I uh, sort of inherited the, the same class that's drawing all these boxes but instead use a uh, texture shader on them so the little um, the little icon with the S, the little circle is uh, just a texture, just something I've done in, in Photoshop um, so that's so I use polymorphism um, to have the have the power-ups be uh, sort of inherited from the the main box class which is drawing all of all of the other bats except they use a, a texture shader instead of a color shader um, so when the bar on the top is gone for the yellow player, um, he no longer has any life left, I guess. So the next time the ball hits his court, it will be game over. So I'll just show you that. Um, so it's game over. Uh, the, ball, the ball just sort of sticks to the court. Um, and then if you press the R key, uh, it resets. And when it resets, obviously it sets the, the life of both players back to full. Um, and it redraws the red bat and the green bat. Um, the reason I had them sort of shrink, 
after a while is I didn't want it to get to the point where it's just power up, power up, power up. So after a while, you know, there's no more power ups in play and, and then it's just playing to the end. Um, so again, uh, apologies for the frame rate. If, if I can get a better screen recording up in future, I will do so. But for now, uh, that's just a quick demo showing off my uh, Pong-esque game with power ups and uh, bats on the top and the bottom. Thank you.